Yo, know, what's good guys? It's your boy Nick Silver TV and how we are doing today. So sorry about two weeks ago that I didn't upload it, uh, videos. I was just browsing in on YouTube. So here I am, just making my return. So today's video I'm gonna react to the evolution of Wolverine. And one week ago I watched the movie Deadpool and Wolverine. It's kinda cool by the way. So let's react to the video, and let's get right into it. Uh, let's just try and check. Uh -huh. Alright, let's do this. Wolverine's live-action costuming hasn't always lived up to his potential, but how has he evolved on screen? Let's find out now. Animated. In the first film, Logan, aka Wolverine, often wears a Canadian tuxedo and a yellow striped brown jacket, while his hair is double coiffed. This lone wolf joins the X-Men and sports a black suit with circular X emblems, along with ribbed sections outlined with golden accents. His strengths include regenerative healing, an adamantium enhanced skeleton, and retractable claws. In this film, Wolverine helps take on immoral mutants to save a friend. The sequel shows Wolverine in his trademark white tank top and his hair is exaggerated. His hero suit is refined, has a giant X on his chest, tapered ribbed sections, a higher belt, and the yellow piping is brighter. He takes out Lady Deathstrike to get to Stryker, the man who previously experimented on him. In The oh. Last Stand, his hair is poofier, and his suit has a duller yellow. This time, he helps depower Magneto with a mutant cure, and then prevents his love interest from going nuclear. In his huh. origin film, a young James Howlett's claws appear for the first time. When older, oh, his I hair see. is less coiffed, and he joins multiple wars through many decades, wearing period-accurate suits and weaponry. Along with his brother, he's enlisted to join a mutant special ops, but in the 70s, Logan takes up lumberjacking and sets down. All this is shattered when his brother seemingly murders Logan's wife. He then agrees to add adamantium to his bones and acquires his classic oh, leather jacket look. Wolverine goes after his brother and is later shot with a memory-stealing bullet. Taking place a decade prior in X-Men First Class, Wolverine opts out of the action. Following X-Men 3 in his second solo film, a now hobo Wolverine is cleaned up and brought to Japan. He mostly wears a pure black suit paired with an overcoat and is at his muscular peak. Whoa. He protects his departed friend's granddaughter from the Yakuza and an adamantium samurai. While Logan loses his metal claws in the fight, the samurai turns out to be his not-so-deceased friend who wants to steal Wolverine's healing powers. But Logan gives him a long overdue death instead. In Days of Future Past, Logan's metal claws somehow return. His suit is tactical, has added yellow and blue coloring, protective plating, along with additional straps. Logan's hair also has a touch of gray. He agrees to send his consciousness into his 1970 self to reunite Charles Xavier and Magneto to prevent a robot uprising. In a quick cameo for X-Men Apocalypse, a feral Wolverine is unleashed from experimentation. He's wearing torso straps and a wired headset. After having the best action scene in the movie, he's generously gifted some of his lost memories. In his final solo film, Logan is aging thanks to adamantium poisoning. His hair lacks oh. its trademark styling, and he mostly rocks a full beard. He wears a fitted limo driver suit and later on dresses casually with a blue dress shirt and light brown coat. Also featured is the young Laura, aka X-23, created with Wolverine's DNA. She can deploy two retractable claws in each hand and singular foot spikes. Along with Professor X, Wolverine sets out to bring Laura to a mutant safe haven. On the way, they encounter a young Wolverine clone, X-24. This model wears dark pants, a gray muscle shirt, has a buzz cut, and golden eyes. X-24 takes out Professor X and later defeats the original Wolverine. Although, Laura is able to bring down X-24 and then mourns the loss of her adopted father. But in Deadpool and Wolverine, a variant Logan wears a yellow suit with blue and black accents, blue boots, gloves, shoulder pads, and gauntlets, along huh. with a red X belt. He occasionally dons a comic accurate mask with pure white pupils Ooh. and ditches his sleeves to show off his true weapons. This film also features nice. many, many different Wolverines that comic readers Ooh. are sure to recognize. Plus, so X-23 also makes a reappearance. The main Logan is plucked out of his timeline and teams up with a fellow mutant to get out of a multiverse dilemma. 
So, Bob, which live-action Wolverine look is your favorite? Let us know down below. Don't forget to check out Game of Thrones Legends to start it? on your own. I think... I think, yeah, that's it, really. So, anyway, guys, uh, sorry about two weeks ago I didn't upload the video, but now I did it already. So, anyway, please like and subscribe. Comment down below what should I do next, and I'll catch you guys on my next bits. Nick Silver TV out.